day two slash final day of ATA for us, day three for everybody else. I don't know why all those details matter that much, but you guys, we've got significantly smarter, significantly smarter. Everybody else has been using this walkway, this sky bridge to get over to the convention center. We've been going outside and freezing our butts off, but we wised up. We joined the smart crowd, so it feels good to be using some brain power. And uh, they will return to the gift shop here at 9.20. And it is currently 9.15. And I just want a monster. I really want a rock star, but they don't seem to have them in this end of the world. <sighs> Subway's not open yet. I wanted a nice breakfast, Reuben. Doesn't look like I'm gonna have that either. But we're gonna go to the show. Um, I have a lot of people wanting to hear about that Garmin site. So I'm gonna go track that thing down and show it to you guys. Um, also, I had some people wanted to hear about some of the new bows um, from Bowtech and um, some other manufacturers. So, I'm going to go look at a few more things before we hit the road. And then uh, about 2 o'clock, we're pulling out of here to go home. So, as requested by pretty much everybody, I'm going to show you guys this Garmin Zero site. This is pretty much the product that everybody's talking about. One of the more innovative products of the show this year, for sure. Um, it's a bow site put out by Garmin. I, I know you guys know Garmin for GPS's and watches and all that kind of stuff. But this bow site's insane. Basically has a range finder built in. And you um, look through the range finder and it basically use it to range and it automatically puts a red dot um, where you need to hold for yardage. But we're gonna take a look at this thing here in just a second. I'm gonna show you guys what it's all about. Obviously this isn't gonna be legal everywhere but in the states that it is. The, the application I think this would be cool for is shooting coyotes with your bow. It's uh, It would be rad for like those quick, quick shots on those dogs coming in, pin selection, and having a clear sight box too, because the sight box is wide open. But anyway, check this thing out. Well, the biggest thing about it is, is uh, it's, uh, actually it's, it's an automatic laser range finding sight. Um, it took a lot of time to put in all the features as a bow hunter, not just you know, some engineer that's designing it. Sure. Um, the cool thing about it is it, it's simple to set up. Once you set it up to your eye, to to your sight, after that, it's pretty simple. It's just a walk back tune, basically. Most archers don't walk back tune. You set your 20 manually, and you start setting back, and mm -hmm. setting 30, 40, or 50. The cool part about it is, is once it's set up, at that point, it's just a, you know, point your little red laser dot inside there where you want to aim, let off, and it'll drop a pin for you. Button here. Yeah, on the that's grip. The range that's the range finder. So like, you push the button here, Long and then hold it down. It ranges. Oh, okay. So it's got a. As soon as you let off, it drops your pin. Oh, all right. Oh, that's crazy. That's way cool. And so as long as you're dialed in with the sighting in process, wherever that pin's at. Yep. It's money. That's where your arrow's going. Yeah, it's it's exact yardage. Okay, so when you get the three dots, that that's just a, a feature that we allow that if you want to go back to a fixed pin sight. Oh, okay. And so. You can walk around with it on that feature all day right. if you wanted, and then right. you have your three pins automatically. Right. You don't have and to. And it's easy, just tap the button again and go back to single pin. Oh, right on. So, you guys, it has like a little readout screen on the top that gives you your yardage and everything, battery screen. I heard you telling them it's double A or triple A batteries, right? Triple A, yeah. Just lithium. That's the product everybody's talking about, man. It's the realm. We got the realm and the realm X. Uh -huh. X right here. A little bit longer axle. Um, the brace. This is about seven inch brace height. That one's about six and a half. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. Realm and the Realm X. So I just spent a little bit of time talking to these Reinhardt target guys. These are awesome targets. They hold up to the abuse. Like I shoot high poundage and I shoot heavy arrows, and so I blow through a lot of targets. So I've been having this issue on my Reinhardt target where I'll bury a broadhead and then I'll go to pull it out and it'll pull the insert and everything out. And I thought I had like a uh, issue with my bond on, or maybe it was the outsert that was causing that to happen. But the guy here at Reinhardt says that it's actually a friction and a heat issue. And if you use heat glue um, on your arrows, like for your inserts and stuff, the friction of that uh, arrow going in and out of the target will warm up your glue and soften it and weaken it and you can pull your insert out. So that's super interesting to me. Um, he says you can give them a little bit of cool off time in between and it won't happen quite as much. Or uh, you can also use, obviously not use heat sensitive glue, just use epoxy or something else. So that's kind of an interesting thing. It's so 
So this is one of the other things everybody's been wanting to know about here. He's actually launched at the Expo last year um, in Salt Lake, and they had a pair of them there, but they haven't really been out, and they've been hard to get a hold of. They are showing up a lot of places. Somebody's having them and stuff, but these are the Vortex Fury rangefinders, range finding binoculars. They're built on the Viper glass, a 10 by 42 binocular with a built-in rangefinder. So I think that they're rated to 2,000 yards, but probably more like 15, 1600 yard reliable um, rangefinder for sure. I think you should be able to get a thousand on animals, which is twice as far as I should ever shoot an animal. Um, but they're super awesome, super clear, good glass. They're angle compensated, just have a really simple, easy to use uh, measuring system on the side. So you just hold the binocular like you hold it normally, and you can reach over and you can range right there with that button. Twist up eye cups, um, dual focus, super intuitive. They don't weigh much more than your regular Viper glass. I mean, I think for me that'll be that'll be my everyday binocular. I'll hunt with that all the time. Just to have the rangefinder. There's no no real reason to not um, to not carry that all the time. So this is the thing that I'm most stoked. I don't have these yet. I'm gonna be getting my hands on some pretty quick. Super cool. As with everything else, Vortex covered by the VIP warranty. I did a a, a video a while back. And in full transparency, Vortex is one of the companies that I work with. But um, I did a video a little while back that was like a, a review of their uh, VIP warranty. And I didn't do it like through my contacts with Vortex. I just sent it in through the mail. And uh, I'll link that video down below if you guys want to go check out Vortex's warranty. One of the best products of the day right here. This is a Cocoa Puff dispenser. You can, you can probably put any kind of cereal in it. I'm a Cocoa Puffs man myself. But check this thing out. You just put it right in your kitchen. And you can actually set these things. That's that's the size I use. You can set these things to uh, fill your bowl at a certain time, or else they can just roll any kind of random cereal out on the ground. And uh, you put it in your bowl and uh, add some milk, and you're ready to go for the day. So, man, innovation. This is the place of innovation. All right, you guys. Our time has come to an end here. At uh. The African Technology Association. A Philly cheesesteak today it was very good. Um, I did see somebody at the show that I like got really excited when I saw him. Ex UFC champion Tim Sylvia. He's not quite fighting shape anymore, but that's the first person so far that I've been like, oh my gosh. So we're headed out now. It's been a fun couple days here. We're gonna go back to the hotel, grab our junk, and we're headed to the airport. Like it seems like when you're going somewhere there's the excitement of the trip and going someplace new and stuff but it's like man I'm excited to go home and see my family but the travel time itself the actual like day and a half which it'll be on this trip in airports and stuff it's not the best the seats are uncomfortable the only way I can keep myself occupied is the great opportunity for people watching I tell you that's the only thing to do in the airport is just to watch people who never hustle try to hustle to catch flights or like watch people who are totally out of their element you can tell the people to travel all the time because they're either wearing suits and ties or they're wearing sweatpants those are the people that haven't figured out the rest of us are just like stumbling through these awkwardly small air buses I don't know So, me and Brandon are sitting here, we're in Atlanta. That's Brandon, Hunter's Hall, Gearbox. And we're decided, like, what's a good way to end this vlog series about the ATA show? 
ATO show is all about gear, the latest and the greatest. So we're gonna give away one of Hunter's Hall's advanced boxes to somebody and it's super simple how to enter. All you have to do is you gotta be subscribed to me on YouTube, you gotta follow me on Instagram and you gotta follow Hunter's Hall on Instagram. I'm gonna leak all of them in the description down below. And when you've done all those things, just go ahead and comment done, either here on this YouTube video or else on the Instagram post that me and Brandon are gonna make about him. So, super simple, all the leaks are in the description. Get entered, we're gonna pick somebody. We'll pick a winner in the next day or two and I will get you a box shipped out. If you guys wanna know more about what's in the boxes, go check out Hunter's Hall. Um, it's a cool it's a cool gear box, a monthly subscription box. And uh, we'll tell you a little bit more about what's in the one we're giving away over on Instagram. So check them out. So thanks you guys for tuning into the vlog this week. I really appreciate you guys following along. Remember hit that subscribe button and uh, get entered in the giveaway.